My name is Mark Van. I'm the Director of Operations for AAR Aircraft Services, FBO. I've uh, been in the industry and with AAR for 40 years. AAR Aircraft Services Oklahoma is an MRO, which stands for Maintenance Repair Overhaul. I work for the FBO, which stands for Fixed Base Operator. The FBO provides uh, fuel services, de-icing services in the wintertime to the general aviation, private and corporate, airline services, and we also have a military contract uh, to provide for any military aircraft that may come in on our facility. At the terminal, you have commercial airlines, but every airport has an FBO where there are private planes, military, corporate jets that you probably don't see every day. And that's what we support as a team here with the FBO front desk operations and line service together. The FBO operations desk is basically a dispatch and concierge service. So we communicate with line service about incoming aircraft, um, we take fuel orders, we meet all the customer's needs as far as renting cars, catering, hotel reservations, whatever their needs might be for that day. I like just dealing with all the different types of aircraft we come in contact with. I mean, you're touching millions of dollars every single day, so it's a high responsibility job. It's nothing to play around with. You have different aircraft that if a pilot tells you, hey, I want X amount of gallons. Not all pilot, not all aircraft are like that. Some, you're fueled in pounds. I mean, do you know how many pounds one gallon of gas weighs? You have to be calculating. There's a lot of math involved, a lot of steps in order to properly refuel an aircraft. My initial aviation training was in a, uh, at a Votech. Back in the days, they called it a Votech. Uh, they had a, a general and power plant course that, you, that they trained you in and I graduated from that and just continued my interest in aviation and when the opportunity came to get into aviation I applied at AAR and started out on the line service. My favorite thing about Votech at the time was it wasn't so much mathematics and English and history, it was hands-on training, you know, turning wrenches, taking engines apart, putting engines back together and saw that it started when you were done with it. It's pretty cool. Career Tech is a great opportunity for anyone that has a desire or a need to be in the aviation industry. You can get started at it in the high school level or after. Once you're in it, uh, there's a lot of opportunity in the industry to get a job.